What is up guys, in today's video we have another Inside the Mind style video. I'm going to walk you through my thoughts and decisions as I play in Fortnite Zero Build. As always, if you guys do enjoy this video, find it helpful and informative, remember to give it a like, subscribe if you like to see more, and comment down below what you hope to see change in this week's upcoming update, because this Tuesday should be the first major update of Chapter 5. Um, a lot of people look at this as like the Solid Snake update, because that skin is going to be unlockable on this Tuesday, I think. But as far as like actual gameplay changes go, I'm just very much hoping we see some sort of weapon balance changes. Uh, especially as far as like shotguns go, I, I think the way they're balanced is quite bad in Chapter 5. I'm going to be going Pleasant Gauza this game. I like this POI. Unfortunately, with how Chapter 5 works out, I end up not going here that much because it doesn't have a mod bench. There is like potential for one on the yacht, but that potential is quite low. And then Snooty Steps is going to be the most, like, close uh, Mythic POI. But I feel like that POI rarely gets zoned, which is kind of, like, rough. I don't want to be going into the Storm to customize my attachments, even though you certainly can, because Storm doesn't hit hard until, like, pretty deep into the game. And then Fencing Fields is also nearby, which is going to be an option. But Fencing Fields, I feel like, is the most, like, ratty of the mythic POIs when it comes to like rotating into it. Like if I land classy quartz, I can usually rotate to like lavish and either like clean that POI up or maybe just like the other person has left by then. Um, and then same with like reckless railway at times if I go like hazy, but I don't know what it is about fencing, but I feel like there's always just people fighting in those tunnels like all game. Kind of crazy. Can I have that enforcer or thank you. It was like not letting me pick it up. It sounded like there's a decent amount of people landing here, but nothing has really happened yet. And these loot drones are pretty nice when they're here. Like, when you have a POI that's gold on the map, they spawn these loot drones. Um, those have, like, a really good chance of dropping shield. I think it's, like, almost guaranteed every time you kill them, they'll drop some shield items, which is really great. I don't want to go for those right now, though, because... Like I said, there was other players that I heard landing here, but I haven't heard much fights, so I kind of think a lot of people are just kind of like waiting to make a play off like what other people do. The player under me. Maybe he's above. He was. One mistake a lot of players make is they get a kill like that, and then they immediately start looting. And that could be okay sometimes, but like I said, I'm like pretty certain there's more people here. So you get that kill and they just immediately look for the third party. The loot isn't going anywhere probably, unless the third parties are just like grabbing my loot and trying to leave. Uh, so yeah, I think you're better off just being concerned about potential third parties rather than looting right away when you get a kill and that's just like i feel like what you need to always be thinking about every time you fight in this game is the potential for third parties i think it was an ai in that building the way they were moving their character it was not normal i might just leave i have acceptable loot and there's a g-wagon here so uh, that i saw when i was landing and so i can just go snooty steps like I said, it looked like the way that guy's character was just like shaking back and forth when I saw it in the window. Makes me think it's an AI. Snooty did get zoned that, this game, so that's great. Uh, but even still, I would like to get here and clear this as fast as possible and then like make my way to this radio tower at the time it's spawning. And uh, a lot of players, I, I feel like, are concerned always about looting like i need to loot this entire poi before i leave or like make sure i have as many big pots and chocolates as possible which is great but i'm gonna be getting so much loot out of this vault most likely that like i just care about this timing like getting this decent timing on this poi is more valuable to me than just having like a slightly better loot for right now they did just fight and peter griffin is dead I don't know if it's people fighting or just one guy that killed is killing drones at this point. Alright, that was an odd fight. It's like not hitting my shots there. 
but that's kind of like what I was talking about with the timing. And I know I probably someone's going to be like, you could have waited for the medallion to heal you before drinking that big. And that's certainly true. However, if I get into a fight right now, I, I would rather have just drank the big. And that's like what I'm concerned about as a potential third party. I should not have taken that much damage there. Um, but that kind of just goes to show the timing I was talking about. That fight was pretty favorable for me. I think we had a right shoulder peak. He had just got done fighting. I don't know if he was fully healed yet. Don't know if his guns were fully loaded. We, I still ended up taking way more damage than I should have. But I would rather have that fight there than like him in the vault, you know? And I'm going to be a little later on the radio tower than I would like. But that's not the end of the world. Like if I don't get the radio tower, it's okay. And I was like, the timing on the radio tower doesn't matter to me as much. Like I said, I would love to get it, but, um, like, there's, the fights around the radio towers aren't as, like, ratty, whereas, like, vault fights, I feel like, are super ratty, so I always would like to get rid of the people here while I can, and I think it's even more so true in team game modes, because you have to worry about, like, do people leave with the, uh, snipers, because snipers can be rough to get this season, like, since they nerfed the spawn rate of them. And so, if you get to the place super late, and the person, like, if you're playing squads and the people already got the snipers there and left, it, it can be, like, pretty rough for your entire team to end up getting snipers. I think the vaults are the best way to do, though. Do so. And if I was a little faster, even, I think we would have had, like, per like, perfect timing on that. I don't know why the car does this sometimes where it like takes an hour to pick what station I'm listening to just for me to turn it off. But uh, if I was like slightly faster then we would have like third party time as he had just got done fighting it would have been even better. Like probably if I didn't stop here to get a slightly better rarity striker AR, I would have gotten even better timing on that uh, player. And it's not like the rarity of striker AR really mattered in that moment. Like I didn't even use it on him with just auto shotting. And that right there is one of the reasons why I like not having the medallion in zero builds. I still take them in build mode, but in zero build, I think just giving away your location, far more problematic. This guy likely would have been more aware I was coming if I had the medallion. It's possible, you know, that he would have just not noticed anyways. He didn't seem to be the greatest, but like the point still stands. If you're on the map, people are going to be more aware of what's going on with you. And that's going to lead to more people pushing you. That's also going to lead to you really just getting favorable timing way less often and that will make your fights harder over the course of the game especially with how good snipers are this season like good timing it can literally just get you a kill straight up in a fight or just like auto win you a fight and then you know bad timing same thing like timing is very 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 important this season i think There's a guy to my right down there. GG's. I thought I just saw somebody like peeking that hill, but it was like the roof of the building when I jumped. Player in fencing. I don't know if I want to go for that because like I talked about before, that POI is just very weird to fight mid game. I think like just going into the tunnels when there's already like a fight that's been developing or going on like i just don't like to if they were like openly fighting on the roofs i i would maybe go for it but i i really do not like dealing with those tunnels maybe go for this person coming out of reckless that's likely the lavish layer player because you see the reckless railway boss is still there and then there's also a medallion player down here which i assume is grand glacier so i'm expecting this person to have the mythic auto shotgun uh, i would like to get that especially now because i only have a green one so like that difference is gonna be nice and then also if you have it you don't have to play against anyone else that has it this player will have a pretty significant damage output advantage versus me because like i just said i have the green auto and they have the mythic is he gonna go in storm to get the radio tower or the medallion he might
Hmm, this is questionable because I kind of want to like sneak up without my car. Okay, yeah, this is bad. He got that faster than I anticipated he would. Okay, perfect. But yeah, I was gonna say, I wanna sneak up and try to snipe him. Because he has like the advantage definitely on me close range. Like you do not want a 50-50 somebody when they have the mythic and you have a green. Like you can certainly win those fights, like rarity isn't everything, but you're just making things harder for yourself. Um, and so I wanted to sneak up, but it, it made it kind of questionable where like if he turned around like he did Then my me not having a car not having cover on that bridge would have been rough. Somebody's trying to EMPS So I want to play away from my car It's not like the car is like worse if you get EMP, but if I'm driving around out in the open and get EMP the car gets disabled so I don't want to like put myself to where like I'd be in a bad spot if my car does get disabled But anyways, like I was trying to talk about, like, getting caught on this bridge with no cover is rough, but also, like, catching him off guard could have been an easy kill. But either way, he flips his car, I had a snipe, GG's. That is chapter 5. And again, if I had the Peter Griffin medallion, that player likely would have been much more concerned and aware about me prior to going in Storm, and we probably don't get that fight that I got there. Where is this person at? This was the person who I car fried. Oh, that's them down there, I think. The high wire skin. Did he go to the car? He might be behind that sign. I could shoot the gas and blow it up, but I don't think that's really going to do anything for me. He got out. I could try to beat him to the top of that mountain, but that player had EMPs earlier, so I don't want to go for that. If I get to that mountain top before him, then that's like beneficial for me, but if he EMPs me like down here and just starts spraying me, it's not great. The EMP will disable your car and do shield damage to you. And it's easier to play against EMPs this season, I think, than it was in Chapter 4 at times, because there's a high voltage augment in Chapter 4 that made it to where when somebody got an ELM, they got more EMPs. And so players would just be like walking around with like max MPs a lot of times, whereas like that player, it's harder, it's like, it's harder to stay stocked up on them this season because there isn't that augment. And so that playstyle kind of has like a, an end, you know? I think unlikely they're carrying more than six. So if you manage to dodge a few of their engages or have their engages not go great on you, like when he threw them at me earlier, uh, then it, it's something that you don't have to worry about as much, like, constantly. There's one over here because I don't- I gen genuinely do not like my, uh, being near island this season with, again, how good snipers are. There's an NPC right there that's not supposed to be, so I know there's a guy in the top of that. And I would like to get this kill. Oh, uh, dang. Because that NPC is very annoying. It's a grenade one. Dang. I just, like, cannot snipe him. I'm just missing easy snipes on him constantly. GG's. See if he had any extra shockwaves for me. I doubt it, though. He's a grapple blade. That entire fight, I'm just like trying to move my car in such a way where I have right shoulder peek on him. And then got to that other car where we had right shoulder peek as well. And like him just standing out in the open like that is at a huge disadvantage. Like I, so many players think they have, you know, they have high ground, therefore the advantage. And that is just not always true when he's just standing out in the open like that. Like that fight should have ended way earlier if I wasn't like choking shots. But, you know, that happened. I was, like, pretty certain that player wasn't the strongest. They'd missed a lot of AR shots. And also, they're, like, hiding in a windmill with, like, the grenade NPC. That's just, like, not 
behavior of somebody who's like confident, you know? But I'm happy to get that uh, kill and get that NPC out of the game because they are pretty annoying. Uh, I guess I should go around. This is going to be boring, but I think this is the play. This is a weird zone, but I think it's best for me to go like all the way around this way rather than trying to cut across the water and maybe drowning my car. Nine opponents remaining. We can also likely get a new G-Wagon over here. There's lots of spawns for it at this like little train station area. That medallion that's on the map is likely Grand Glacier or fencing. And the reason why I keep switching the cars is for gas. Okay, I'm guessing this is fencing and that's Grand Glacier. Doesn't matter as much, to be honest. The main medallion that I'm concerned about, like, knowing which one it is, is, like, the auto shotgun. Like, knowing whether or not the person you're about to fight has that can change the fight. The other mythics are good, but it, I'm, like, I'm not as concerned about, like, the mythic striker as I am the mythic auto. Especially because, like, how auto shotgun fights play out, they're... It does oftentimes divulge in just like players trading damage and dealing with the auto or dealing with them having the mythic is like, you know, more threatening. I'm gonna pop his tires. I think when you're spraying someone's car, unless it's really weak, you should always just be concerned about popping the tires because that makes their car less useful later on for them. Behind me. Hmm, just being near your car is covered so great because I see a bad situation happening. I hit the button and I'm in the car. And now this player isn't shooting at me. There's an AI, but like the, the point still stands, you know? We should cross because next zone is over there. This player in the, that I was shooting at before seemed decent, though. I might chill in this bush for a second to see if I can find him. Oh, dang. That was a terrible shot. I maybe shouldn't have worried about him because these people are fighting over here. And I might have gotten better timing on this fight, whereas now I don't get good timing on it. But also on the flip side, like, if that guy had tried to, like, sprint across that field as I was in that bush watching, then, like, that would have been a free kill. I'm in the next zone, which I don't, like, people worry too much about getting the next zone, I think, at this point in the game. It's not going to be, like, if there was, like, a mountaintop or something that was hugely valuable, like, I think getting to that is fine. But being in the next zone already, I feel like, is almost just going to get you focused. Like, I kind of like playing on the edge of new. Until I have to be. Unless there's something like insanely valuable. Like if that mountain was in zone. The person who's on there has like a pretty distinct advantage. But this zone is just kind of. Um, very neutral all over. And so I, I think you want to play more like low key. Just to like not get focused too much. Which I've probably done a poor job of. Because that guy in the water was an AI. I think. And so killing them wasn't the most useful thing i was worried about i was like wanted to kill the medallion player that had gotten out and sniped at me earlier and this guy's just sniping at my bush and hopes to hit a shot because if he hits a shot his life is really good now he's griefing my car that's smart but he's gonna have to make a play eventually and so if i can just not get sniped between now and then uh things will get better for us and then hopefully i can eliminate him and then just turn back and deal with the rest of the lobby I, this player seems decent like i've understood what they're doing up until this point i think 
He's trying to destroy the car because it might destroy my bush. It's very one shot, my car. And this is like one of the ways I would like for them to balance snipers. I think if there was like a limitation on how much ammo you could carry, then just like shooting shot after shot after shot like this, hoping to hit something, wouldn't be as viable. And I think that would be better for the game. I do not like this at all. Next zone is like very bad too. But with this zone being mostly just random, I think you just want to play like kind of like low key like how I have so far. Which is like kind of my least favorite way to play because it feels just like very not in your control. Okay, so this game is actually very interesting because next zone is very bad and it's across the way there. And then the zone after that pulls to like all the way over here. And this is forecast is like hugely beneficial this game because if zone went that way, I would just like shockwave ahead and play for that. But I don't want to do that because of where the zone after next is. Like it's almost better to stay on this side of the map if you're not going to end the game on the next zone, which we might not because this game is played out kind of slow. I did have like visual audio footsteps. I think those like underneath though. Again, I'm still most concerned about that guy because they seem like a decent player. They will have to rotate to me. They had shockwaves earlier. I'm not sure if they still have any, though. I'm not sure if there's actually somebody in that bush or if he just thinks there's somebody in that bush because I did have footstep visual audio. On someone who I thought was, like, on the bottom part. He got loot. Dang, I cannot hit this guy. See, this is... This is... What I was talking about. This is why Forecast is so good. Because he's using all his shockwaves to get to next zone. Not realizing that he's kind of griefing himself. I'm tempted to shockwave at him and just kill him though. Because I think the other player is like an AI or not very good. I'm gonna get shockwave on that. We just bodied him. He took a bit of storm, not a lot, but GG's. With how that player had just been doing nothing all game, like I said, I just thought they were an AI or not the greatest. That always happens in game, like pretty much always in Fortnite. But a lot of times this season, where there's just like AI that make it in game, I think the medallions, especially, create a situation where if you eliminate the medallion players, oftentimes you've taken out a lot of the more proactive players in the lobby. Or the players who took out the more proactive players in the lobby. Uh, and so with me, I, the player that got third that game seemed good. So I kind of wanted to like focus on eliminating them. And then like the final player I just didn't expect the most of. Because that happened so frequently. And it could have come back to cost me. If that the player who got second was better and had forecast as well and saw where that next zone was me pushing the good player and getting them out of the game would have been a like mistake but i i thought that gamble was worth making because that that guy seemed pretty decent but that is gonna be it for this video hope you guys found this helpful informative interesting as always if you did remember to give it a like subscribe if you like some more and comment down below what you hope to see um in the upcoming update this week and i'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching